Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. It's Cooper here, and we're going to be doing the campaign mode of this brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! game. I know I have a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! games on my channel, but screw you, I love them. So I'm going to show you just another one. This is an RPS2 version Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Same era as the Duelist of the Roses and Falsebound Kingdom. Welcome to Capsule Monster Coliseum. If you like those games, uh, Duels of Roses and uh, Phallusbound Kingdom, you probably will like this game too. You're just in time for the big tournament. What tournament is this going to be? What are we going to be doing? Apparently we're going to an island though, so that's pretty cool. With a volcano. This is just like GX. Capsule Monster Battle Tournament. So somebody is holding a Capsule Monster Battle Tournament, and that's Yugi's puzzle. Yugi Moto and his alter ego who had been trapped in the Millennium Puzzle. And there's a comma, so I have to wait for more more to talk about. Oh cool, look at the monsters! We'll use their wits and monster capabilities to defeat all their opponents. Come on. I know you got more dialogue than this, that's a nice trophy. As they fight for the title bestowed on only the best, Capsule Monster Coliseum Fighter. Alright, what does the best fighter get, uh, get named? The King of Capsule Monsters. Who will win the tournament? It's going to be Yugi. He always fucking wins. Yeah, it's we're playing as Yugi Moto in this game, of course. I think we play as Yugi in every game, except Duelist of the Roses where you get to play as two different characters. And Well, actually, no. You get to play as Yugi in his every game, but every other game you get to play as other characters too. So, oh, that's a nice loading stream. I might steal that. I might take a snapshot of that. Alright, so we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters. What this game is, is you have... It's still Yu-Gi-Oh! You just don't have cards, you have capsules, and everything is the same except... This plays more on Falsebound Kingdom rules, where like your monsters have health bars and stuff. But it's it's very different, so let's get this going, guys. I want to show you guys what this game is like. It's not going to be normal Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll eventually play a normal Yu-Gi-Oh game on this channel, but I mean, I don't like very I don't like normal Yu-Gi-Oh as much as I like these off-brand Yu-Gi-Oh games. So <laughs> you know how it is. We're Cooper. We're gonna purchase a starter kit. We could build a custom one, and it would be super OP, but. Let's just purchase a starter kit as if we were starting the game. Plus, I love starter decks, so... Hey, voice acting! This game actually has voice acting! Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa. Hey, Yugi! That's your actual voice! Ah, I thought you would come, Yugi! Oh, cool! What are you doing? I knew you wouldn't have prepared anything. You're always so impatient. Grandpa, I didn't even know there was a tournament today. I brought monsters that you can use in the tournament. Aw, oh, thanks, Grandpa! You're cool! That's my grandpa. Yeah, he's nice. Grandpa, do you blink? Grandpa, do I blink? Why aren't we blinking? Please. I'll exchange them for monster Don't tell me about monster points. Tell me how to blink. Monster points? And why do I look so intense the entire time? Alright, so yeah, we can earn monster points by winning during the tournament. Monster points, we can buy some stuff. It's cool. Let me give you some... Alright, give me some basic tips, but if it takes a long time, I'm gonna start skipping. Can be separated into light okay, there's light, fire, dark, fire, earth, earth water, water earth, wood, wind, wind, and thunder wind. types. Holy crap, so we got like eight types. Let's see what they look like. No, 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 I'm skipping this, Grandpa. You're talking too much. Just like Duels of the Roses talk too much. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, light beats dark. Dark beating earth, that's kind of weird. I guess I'll live with that. Fire is strong against fire. Fire beat. Okay, that makes sense. Water I can remember is that. Fire. Uh, water beating fire. I can remember that. Very easy. Got some Earth is strong against fire. ground beating electric. Earth I get that from Pokemon. It makes sense to me. Wood beating wind makes no sense. I'll have to think of that one. Wind is strong against wind water. beating water. I don't. That does make sense in my mind either. Thunder beating light. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to remember this crap. This is gonna be super hard. That I played this game as a kid, but I'm, I i don't know. This is one of the ones I didn't replay all the time. So only having monsters of a single attribute is dangerous. Ah, now you're getting it, Yugi. That's my grandson. You learn quick. Hey, he's king of card games. And now he wants to be king of capsule monsters. However, you should always take your opponent's attribute into account. All right, so notice what their attribute That's is. That way we know their weaknesses. To remember. All right, another important point. Well, the rest is up to you. Alrighty. I understand. Let's see. So now we're going into the tournament. Let's pick our starter kit. Now, you can pick any of the types, and they all have different AP and PP. Uh, 
the defense is just kind of not not, not important at the moment. AP, I think, is how much you can summon, and PP is how much health your your uh, I guess your deck leader will have. Like these statues that we're seeing are the deck leaders, and if they die, you lose the duel. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with Dark because Yugi's a Dark user. I mean, think about it, guys. All of Yugi's monsters are all of his iconic ones are based on Dark types. So I'm gonna go with that. I think it's cool to be Dark. So we're gonna be the Dark starter deck. Hopefully, it's good. Plus, the background looks dark, so let's be Dark. Um, we're gonna go to area one, and in area one, our first opponent is none other than Joey Wheeler in the Forgotten Capital. He uses fire types, so that's gonna be interesting. Fire versus dark. I don't think there's an advantage either way, so it's gonna be a- Oh, nice background. Wish I could just grab those, but I don't know how to do that. I'm not a good artist. Eh, or I'm not even a good editor, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But still, our first opponent is Joey Wheeler in this big old tournament. Usually you would think Joey be, would be leave, uh, left for the finals, but it's okay. He could be our tutorial battle. Hopefully he puts up a good fight. Oh, look at these maps we get to play on. So yeah, if you like Duelist of Roses, the maps are more like that. Hey, you. I've been waiting for hey you. how you doing, Joey? Joey. Oh, they even know. talk before the battle. What's up, Joe? You're my and favorite character in Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, that's good. I want to fight for real. You're my rival. I'm not holding anything back. Wow, you even have lip movement? That's impressive. Then let's get started, Joey. Mine doesn't look as impressive. Alright, Joey versus Yu-Gi. We don't even know what's on our starter deck, so that's probably a bad thing. I probably should have looked at that first, but let's just wing it. Let's get right into a duel. Alright, uh, just pick a card and whatever whoever gets the higher number gets to go first. So, Or, well, gets to choose, but they always go first. Oh, never mind. He wants to go second. That's interesting. All right, so I'm going to attack first, which is good. I love to attack first. Uh, this is going to be Joey. Whoever attacks second has to put up their monster first. So he has a fire monster, a fire monster, a fire monster, and a fire monster. He is all fire, guys. This guy is going to be a very easy opponent to beat if we have any water types. If we do not, we'll have to figure it out. So we have Karibos. That's so cool. Okay. I'll select my monsters to play Yeah, so we have a whole deck here, but we can only pick a certain Wait amount a of monsters to actually play with. What's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong, Yugi? There's a limit on which monsters you can use. Yes, that's true. We have an MP meter, the monster point meter, which right there. Right now, we can only use up to 270 points. You mean the points I pay? Yes. In order... Yeah, yeah, each stage each has a set stage limit of MP, and, and we can only have monsters six monsters total if we wanted to, but they would all be weak if we did six. Yes, 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 we get the rules. It's, you yeah. don't, thank you. Thank you for doing the voice okay. acting, but still. Alright, so we got Karibo as our, I guess, our weakest. That makes sense. What's our stronger monsters look like? We got Droll Bird, so Wind. Uh, we got Steel Scorpion, nice. Uh, we got the Needle Ball, that's a stronger Dark type, I like that. Kurama, another Wind. Uh, Kemina, oh my god, don't, don't even ask me to pronounce that. Feral Imp, that's our boss monster, I think. Yes, our boss monster is the Feral Imp, I love that. Um, obviously we get stronger monsters as we go through the story, but I'm gonna have Feral Imp. Uh, if you look at the bottom right, it tells you on the map what kind of spaces get increased on this power, in this area. So if we have any lights, dark, or wind monsters, we'll get a good increase. So I have a wind monster, I have Kurama. Kurama, why don't you, well, what's your capability, Kurama? All right, he's a C rank. He has a lot of uh, a good amount of HP. Attack points are fine. Uh, we'll figure it out. Karama, you're coming. Uh, let's bring some Steel Scorpions, probably. No, I want to increase a Karibo's power. As you can see, all of these monsters have levels. The reason they have levels is because they could level up. These monsters can level up and go on with go along with you on more adventures. It's pretty cool. Uh, we can only bring out a few more. I could bring out more Karibos just to make sure we have a lot of attacking monsters. Um, and that might be a good idea. Just so that, uh, if, uh, Joey ends up being a bigger threat than I think he is, we can just send out a bunch of guys. So, oh, well, maybe, maybe we'll send out only two, and then our fifth monster, 47. We can send out a Steel Scorpion. Uh, or we can send out a Droll Bird. Let's do a Steel Scorpion. Just so that we have a good variety of monsters. So we're gonna summon five monsters. Joey only summons, uh, four monsters. But he summoned four fires. All right, I'm going to place my symbol, uh, let's go right about here. I can jump around my symbol if it's in, in any danger. I'm going to manually place my monsters because I like to do that. Uh, Karibo. Now, as you can see, Karibo's blue spaces is the direction he moves and the red spaces are the direction he attacks. So this is going to be a very interesting game when it comes to movement and attacking. 
Karibo's gonna go there. Uh, all monsters can walk on water and stuff. You don't have to worry about that. It's just some monsters get weaker in water and some monsters get stronger. Depending on where you stand depends on how strong and how weak you are. I'm gonna put this Karibo here. Uh, Steel Scorpion, how do you move? You're a Okay, you attack from the side, but you move forward. So I'm gonna put you here. Uh, I kind of want to use our Feral Imp too. Kurama, where do you... Oh my god, Kurama runs, but oh, it doesn't attack very far. So Kurama can move a lot, but it can't attack very far. Interesting. And then our Feral Imp, our boss monster. This is going to go, I'd say, right about here. And yes, I've positioned the monsters where I feel they would be strongest, which I don't know if that's actually true. It's been years since I've played this game. I remember enough about it because this is a game I like to replay every now and then. But it's not one I replayed all the time. It's time to yeah, let's do this. Okay, so up in the top there, you see we have an AP meter. Hey, in order to move your pieces, you okay, you know what? AP. If they're gonna explain it, screw it. Let them do it. I see. Each piece has a set requirement of AP. That's right. And if I move it, then the AP on the screen decreases. Correct. That is also right. Yep. And if you don't have enough AP, you can't move anything. Then you can't. That's move your right. Pieces okay, this makes this is easy. So I have to be careful about the amount of AP. So yeah, if you want to use your monsters, you have to. You're gonna have to spend AP points. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip a bit because uh, this is gonna this is gonna be a lot of talking. So before we can do anything, we have to summon our monsters. So we have our monsters on the field, but let's summon them. I'm gonna summon a Karibo. They cost 30 to summon. Very cheap on AP. And the more monsters you summon, the more AP you get the next round. And then it'll all, uh, it'll always be increased after that. So as you can see, we have 233 next round. That's all we can summon at the moment. I wanted to get Karama out because it can move very far, and that could be uh, very useful. I'll show you what it takes to be a true duelist. A capsule monster duelist, bring it on. Ooh, you get 140 AP. That's a good start. We only had like 110. Oh, Fire Reaper. Those are pretty... Like, they're the most basic fire types, but they're really good because they can move two spaces and attack two spaces in front of them. Side, backwards. Y you'll see. I'll tear down your defense. All right, now we have 258 AP. I want to summon just about everything. Hey, right now you saw the AP increase. Right? Yes, thank you, Tutorial Yugi. What? Yes, so Yugi is correct. the king of games. Yami Yugi is just so badass that he has to be on the front. Because Yugi knows everything. There's a number with a plus sign. Yes, I okay, I told everybody about that. That's how much we get next turn. Got it. Yes. Goodbye. Thank you. That's something I Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your voice acting. I appreciate it. But still, I can't just listen to you the whole time. I want to play the Vigi game. Alright, so I'm gonna put that Kribo, summon this uh this little scorpion guy. He'll be fine. And then I'm gonna summon our big old boss Pharaoh Imp. Costs a lot to summon him, costs a lot to use him, but he's still cool. Okay, now let's get moving. I want to I wanna bait the Fire Reapers into coming. Our attack is negative 3 and negative 1 defense on water, but that's fine. It's a dark monster. They don't really get increases very often. The only good places for them are like, yeah, like this. Uh, just regular stone places. But on water, they get a little deep off. It's not even that big, so you don't have to worry about it. So let's see what he does. If he goes on water, those Fire Reapers are basically useless. Out of water, though, they are great. And since they can attack from range, they're pretty brutal to deal with. Are all of his monsters Fire Reapers? So, he, okay. Since Joey's a tutorial guy, he doesn't really have a boss monster. He just has a Fire Reaper. Most enemies do have a boss monster, like our Feral Imp. So, let's see what we got. Uh, Karibo. We got Wind Guy. Yeah, that's a guy. Um, we got Feral Imp. Yeah, that's an imp. Okay, I can move you forward to get you into attacking range. You'll get negative four on the water, but I'll move you out of it next turn. Costs a lot to use you, but I want to. Uh, Scorpion, I want you forward. That way, if the enemies move forward, you can attack them. Now, Kurama, I know you can move a lot. That, ter that terrain is not good for your pieces. Actually. Yes, I know, I know. If the terrain is unfavorable, I, I told everyone about this. Thank you, guys. I see. I should be on the same terrain. Yes, a thunder monster likes lighter areas, not earthy areas. So let's go over here. The wind monster, I think, does like water. Yes, it really likes water. So I'm going to put uh, Kurama in the water, just for now. Eventually, I'm going to have to take it out of the water, because I think I just put him in range of attack. Uh, Kribo, get moving. Kribos are very uh, foot soldiery in this game. Don't be afraid to put them in the front lines. Uh, have, them, uh, have them move forward so you can bait out your opponents, even if they're in negative territory. All right, come get us. And then we have 50. Uh, you only need 50 to move your captain piece, so I'm just going to move this over here. And I'm going to be calling this thing many different names. 
Uh, two ways to win the battle. Destroy all of your opponent's monsters, you win the battle. Destroy your opponent's cap captain piece, you automatically win. Captain pieces have a ton of HP though, so it's kind of hard. Ooh, he walked into the water. Okay, this is bad for us that we're going to take damage, but he did knock and walk into the water, so I feel good about that. Now, in this game, there are battle animations. I'm not going to show all of them, but I am going to show new ones whenever I see them, so let's get this started. Because the battle animations can go on for like 10 minutes, if I'm being honest. They're very long. But it's still cool. They put effort into the game. They did this ever since Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, and I, I really appreciate that. So we might as well show it off. That's his Fire Reaper. Got the Flame Arrow. Pretty badass. And these monsters are weak as hell. We're not even using any real class monsters. Our boss monster is like a normal monster in the future. We lost ton a ton of HP. My monster's not beaten yet. Yeah, we almost died though. But it's good to re it's good to re uh, recognize that. These Fire Reapers are actually strong. They're above our foot soldier's strength. The only thing on our team that can really destroy a Fire Reaper like easily is our Feral Imp. Everything else is way weaker than them. And if he wasn't on water, he probably would have done way more damage. Ooh, yes, the stage can change for every now and then. One stage change that this one does is the water will keep going up, making it easier for us, which is Fine. good. You can't be serious. This can't happen. Yeah, screw you, Joey. You have to win the duel really quickly. So if you're doing bad against Joey, you can always just hide in the water and bait him to come to you. Which is kind of what I already did by making uh, his first monster go into the water. Problem. Uh, his first monster may be in the water, but it's actually in a safe-ish place. I think if I move Feral Imp, it wouldn't be able to attack, so... I'm gonna have to move Feral Imp over here. Or, no, I can move him over here. Yeah, I'll move him over here. And then I'll eventually get to attack him another turn. Uh, this guy is one-off, sadly. So I'm gonna have to move him right at... Wait, can he move here? He cannot. Okay, good. I'm gonna have to move him about... Say here. Now, Kurama, I don't think can actually get him because of the attack uh, attack pattern. I needed to be a little bit over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him move forward by moving over here. And Karibo, I think, is in the same bow where he's on a space that I can't reach him. So I'm going to move Karibo back. So luckily, I mean, for in, in actuality, he got a free attack on us, but it's going to be fine. We're going to figure him out because now he should move over here to avoid my Feral Imp. And then these guys can move in from the side to get him. Which, yes, he'll be out of the water, but we'll get some attacks in there. He'll be fine. We're still not losing the duel. We have five monsters. He has four, even if those four are stronger. Other than Pharaoh Imp. Pharaoh Imp could beat him. All right, so he's going for Karibo. Good. That was expected. He's on the water still. That's even better. Oh, I probably, yep, I'm turning off the battle animation for that one. Karibo doesn't get to attack, but when Karibo does get to attack, I'll turn it back on. Alright, I like that you can just turn it off and on real quick. You, can deal, then my monster will not fall. you got that right, Yugi. Even a little Karibo can take a hit like that. Ooh, he's moving his captain piece. He knows he's in danger. That's a smart move there. That's a riskier move. He's trying to bait out my feral imp. I like this. I like to be baited, because I always fall for it. Alright, so what we can do is he walked right in front of our freaking uh, Steel Scorpion here. So we're going to have Steel, Stor Steel Scorpion go for an attack. Uh, yes. Bring him down. There we go. 113. Then, he's at 61 HP. We got two experience. Every time you attack, you get experience. You're not gonna let up. Not even a little bit, are you? Oh, hell no. I want to win the duel. Now, Karibo. I'm gonna move you one... Oh, I can't. I'm gonna just have you attack, and hopefully, even though you get an attack down, could you kill him? Out of curiosity? Yes! It will be enough to destroy him. And we're going to have the battle animation on just because Karibo is one of our cooler monsters. Let's give it, let's give it a, a look. I don't know if it's going to be worth watching, but I like Karibo, so. Ooh, you can see he's damaged. It shows damage on your uh, capsule if you take too much damage. Go get him, little guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, needle sprinkler. All right, one out of four down. Not bad. Oh, we can also always go for the captain piece too, and you actually get more experience for killing a captain piece. Like, I think you get 50 if you do that. So it's it's a good idea to uh, focus on captain pieces if you want to level up your monsters. Me, on the other hand, I'm not going to because this is the first duel, and I can end up losing if I try to focus too much on something like that. So if I go over here, the Fire Reaper will walk into the water. Problem is, Kurama can't take another hit. Kurama took too much damage, it's just, it's not in the cards at the moment. And if I move here, I think I'm safe. So I'm going to move Karama over here. Now, Feral Imp, I'm going to put you in a little bit of danger. I'm sorry. 
but you oh you can't even attack never mind so if he moves two spaces one two one two he can attack me so it's better not to move my pharaoh imp yet i need him to move into position all right and then if he does so if he moves over here then he's safe if he moves over here then he's safe but if he moves over here and he moves here then i got him so i'm gonna focus on not moving there I'm going to start moving my piece more towards the water, just in case uh, he does get past some of my forces. So, Feral Imp, I'm sorry, buddy. We're not going to use you just yet. Let's see what these boss monsters can do first. I'm a little bit concerned, but I feel I feel, I feel, feel confident. We got, we got uh, three Flame Reapers left. Okay, so he's going towards side. He's going towards side. They don't want to deal with uh, Feral Imp. That's basically what that says. Oh, or he's avoiding the water. Did he think? Did the AI know that the water was going to rise again? Again? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like he avoided the water. That was a smart move. Very smart move there, Joey Wheeler. Yay! We're floating. Fun. Yeah. Don't worry about your pieces. They don't drown. They can float. Uh, let's see. We're gonna move. Karama is probably gonna die. That's that's just a fact. Uh, let's see. If I move here, I can get a hit. So I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to sacrifice Kurama. Kurama's going to do as much damage as they can before they die. So Kurama, come over here in the water. You have a, pl a 20 plus attack boost here. I'm going to turn off battle animations. Not worth watching. Let's go ahead and bring down this Fire Reaper's HP. Nice, nice. Good hit, good hit. Ah, this isn't looking good. Yeah, you got that right, Joey. You're in trouble now. Steel Scorpion, I'm going to move you up too, because they can't attack you here, but you can get them. Let's get this guy over here. You could ju jump over your uh, allies if you want to hit opponents. I don't think you can jump over opponents, though, so you got to watch yourself. Nice, 111. Ooh, got them both below half. Now, if I can just move some pieces in place, I can get them, I get to them. So this Karibo is going to be in a lot of danger since I'm moving him into a, a not-so-great position, but it'll be fine. It's part of the plan. Because he's going to get a kill for it. Alright, 63 damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, now 20 experience. But that was a different Karibo, so they got okay. different experience. The bottom of the ninth. Two outs. Yeah, you got that right. I gotta make my move now or it's over. Oh, if you move, you're going to fall into water. So I don't know if you want to do that. Alright, so I'm going to move over here. Oh no, that would block Feral Imp. I'm going to move over here. I need my Feral Imp in place. So Feral Imp, go ahead and move forward. And then next turn, I should have a kill for Feral Imp, and then I might lose one monster. I won't lose two, I'll just lose Kurama. Kurama did good, though, so I gotta, gotta respect it. Come on, Fire Reapers, let's see what you got. So, Joey, this is your last chance for a comeback. I plan on beating you next turn. Kurama's the only one I'm willing to sacrifice right now, or the only one I'm expecting to die. Ah, oh, shit. Yep. Goodbye, little baby. Damn, if only I was better at Yu-Gi-Oh. You yeah, he is doing better. Alright, let's see what else you got. You got one more piece. Ah, going straight for the kill. I respect that. I respect that. Oh, but my Karibo can take the hit? Sorry, Joey. Even on, even on land. In water, you guys don't do that much damage. But on land, look at that. I lost more than, what, three-fourths of my health? Was a lot of damage. But it yep, barely survived. I like that he had different dialogue for it say, uh, for the heavy amount of damage. Alright, I think it's about time we ended this duel. Let's go. Joey, you did good. Your monsters are actually stronger than I thought they were. I'll give you credit for that. But your guys are done. First things first, let's have you go down. Didn't kill him. Damn. Really hoping for a kill there. Alright. Well, if no kill, no no worries. Let's have Karibo finish it off. Come on, Karibo. Oh, I should have warned you guys earlier. You know how Kurama, my piece, died? Uh, my wind monster died? Because one of my monsters died this battle, they are not allowed to participate in the next battle. When a monster dies, they're gone for a full rotation. and a ro uh, Well, a full game. So, the next game I play, I lost Kurama. I cannot use it. Luckily, that doesn't matter because we just won this duel and only lost one monster. So, that's not too bad. Oh yeah, you're going down, and we want to see Feral Imp's attack. This will, finish you. this will finish you. We're done, Joey Wheeler. You're my favorite character, but since you're the tutorial guy, you didn't really get to show off your cooler monsters. 
but I'm sure you will later, or we'll get to see cooler monsters later. Feral Imp is one of the cooler monsters, I like it. I used it in Falsebound Kingdom. Here we go. Swoop and Slash, there we go. Nice. It's all over. Sorry, buddy. I can't believe of all people they made you the tutorial. There's other characters I would have, you know, put as the tutorial fight before him. But whatever. Maybe they'll still be in the game. So yeah, this is basically what we're getting from this capsule place. Yeah, you lost. We get these cool looking maps. Uh, the maps have different ter uh, ter terrains that power up and weaken your monsters. And it's all about uh, using your points, uh, you know, well. Because if you don't use your points well, you'll run out of points and then you'll have no way to move. And if you lose your monsters, you can't use them the next duel, so it's pretty tough. Of course. Yeah. I won't let you down. Joey, we, I, lo I love you. You're like my favorite character. Of course I won't let you down. So, now that Joey's been defeated, you are allowed to take... Or, well, first, you get a bonus. Once you defeat your opponent, depending on how you do, you get experience for all the survivors. So all these monsters survived and our symbol has zero experience. Now they gain 18 experience, which is really good. It's good to make your monster survive. And after defeating an opponent, you are allowed to take two of their monsters that you defeated. If you didn't defeat the monsters and you destroyed uh, the captain piece, then you cannot take the monsters. So the Fire Reaper that destroyed my monster uh, is this one, and it has more experience already. The experience carries over, so I'm going to take him. Uh, did this Fire Reaper do anything? This one attacked twice, so I'm taking this one. And they're gonna join my team. Hey, you yeah, what's up, Joey? What's wrong, Joey? There's something I forgot to tell you about this tournament. What about it? There are five opponents in each area. Alright, five opponents. That's pretty tough. And if you don't beat them all, you can't move on. Damn. That means... I just defeated you, Joey, so I have to defeat four more opponents. Yeah, if we want to beat the first area, we gotta defeat four more opponents. Right. And if you clear four areas, a whole new path opens up. Damn. A new path? What's that? <laughs> like I know. No, oh, what the hell? Well, just keep winning. That's right. That's what we're gonna be doing, Joey. And maybe it'll all make sense later. So keep at it, buddy. Thanks, Joey. I'll do my best just for you. Thanks, Joey. That's exactly what I'll Damn do. Damn it, I didn't predict what predict what he said. Yeah, beat their butts. See you later. Yeah, smell you later, Joey. Smell you later. A new path. I don't know what the new path is. But we're traveling on our own road right now. No matter who we face on this road, we must win. You got that right, Yugi. And I'll be there to help you. We'll do it together. Yeah. yeah. And he's the good Yugi. That Yugi knows what he's doing. That little Yugi knows what he's doing. Old Yugi's a badass, so that's the face. He's the face of the company. Uh, I will save the game data. Uh, memory card slot one. There's some old save data from way back when. I'm gonna go over here. Come on. There we go. All right. Now let's continue. Or is that gonna be it? So yeah, this is Capsule Monster Coliseum, guys. It's pretty cool. That first tutorial battle, th they didn't show off a lot of monsters. Every battle after this, you're going to see more monsters, guys. So that was just because it was the tutorial that he had only one type of monster. Now next time, let me give you a little clue on who we're going to be fighting. It's going to be Tristan Taylor, who would have made a much better tutorial. But they didn't do that. And he is a wood user, so... We're going to kick Tristan's ass next time. Thank you all for watching and hope you like the new series. Bye-bye.